Hey guys, welcome to Criteria. I am Lady Crybaby Empath Empress, and we are here today to do a reading on Young Pharaoh. All right, Young Pharaoh, if you're watching, hey there, sweetheart. Um, the message to you from Spirit is that currently, right now, you're delusional and you're lost. Okay, you have been MK Ultra. Okay, whatever. I'm, you guys, are, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even know what MK Ultra means. All I know is that it's kind of like a transferring of souls. So, right now, Young Feral is MK, is under uh, MK Ultra or something along those lines. Now, these are cards, that are, and the message to you, Young Feral, is coming from the spirit. And hey there, collective, I want to send you love and light, you guys. Um... What you saw me just do, what, uh, what I just did was I uh, put the all-seeing eye over a piece of fruit, okay? So, normally they stick a, their own eye. So, somebody looked into your soul, young Pharaoh, and what they found is that you had a lot of spiritual information that you were unlocking, but you were being too wild with it, Okay? So, let me read this, the message to you from, from Spirit. So, what they did was they caused you a loss, okay? You lost your spiritual direction and all of this. And that is coming from being what's called too pig-headed, okay? So, uh, let's see. Get, the, get my light a little bit closer, you guys. Loss, it says, sometimes you learn true offering through loss, Okay? So you're learning what you true. You should be right now learning what you truly had spiritually by losing it. It says you make a passionate invitation for love to take over and bring uh, her own plan instead of the egos. Okay, you're way too egotistical, and that has caused you to lose your spiritual blessing because of that. And because of the MK Ultra, right now you're doing what's called acting in delusion. All right, Spirit says. Um, Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Okay, so the MK Ultra is causing you to be delusional or act delusional at this time. All right, and acting delusional, um, we have two more cards that are uh, here from Spirit. You are currently showing signs of change. Okay, and the signs are in reverse. So the signs that you were showing when you first started your web pages and when you first started speaking you were speaking from a spiritual level or from a spiritual direction that has since been changed so sign is in reverse okay and sign says uh instincts are the message from the inner divine so you were acting you used to act off instinct okay but you do not act that way as of now all right and uh change it's from the spirit the message says when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution so you were evolving and now you've changed that the direction has been changed and that has been done through MK Ultra all right guys so if you if you get a chance look up MK Ultra the spirit is saying that is what you are currently under and the reason why you're not aware of the change or the MK Ultra is because your ego ego is in the way. All right. So you guys, we have some cards laid out here on the table. All right. And all of this is because you are defaming the black woman. Okay, sir. You are also I'm hearing gutter, okay? Um your gutter style actions are, oh, gut wrenching is what the spirit is saying, okay? So your actions are gut wrenching to the spirit, okay? Now, what happened here 
is that and we're going to get to the cards on the table immediately immediately you guys these ones that are laid out okay so the first card that i have is the ace of swords and the next card is the nine of swords okay the ace of swords stands for victory over the black magic so they black magic you in with the mk ultra and that well mk ultra is a, is a form of black magic and the nine of swords is anxiety suffering despair and disappointment okay the spirit is disappointment because you're you are acting out of anxiety. You have, you have very anxious type actions, um, and you're suffering in despair behind that. So the suffering comes from your relationships. Uh, your money is not right, or it's, it's things are happening in your situation now. I have watched some of, I went to look you up, young Pharaoh, and I used to follow you. I no longer follow you. That's because you're being judged, okay? And then it says nine of pentacles. So they judge you on your success. Because you had so much information to offer. And you started off saying that the black woman is God. But now you're calling the black woman just thousands and tons of bitches. And I'm not exactly sure if you know how uh, the spirit is saying not only are you in despair. But you're putting those young women that you're calling bitches in despair as well. You are totally and completely destroying their soul every time you use the word bitch, okay? And bitch is another word for witch in the spiritual realm, okay? So you're calling a lot of these young god goddesses bitches, and each and every time you say bitch, it's gut-wrenching to the Lord and to the spirit spiritual realm, all right? And your money and your success has been judged because of your turn of events. Okay, guys? And page of cups, okay? So you used to come out with a sense of love. You start your greetings, uh, your greetings or your web uh, page information. You start, off, you start off saying peace, peace, family. And no sooner than you say peace, you start calling women bitches, okay? So you put somebody in a third party situation where you used to actually love this person. Now, your love for this person has not only uh, turned from being a king, a king God, uh, and you lowered your status by becoming a knight, and now you are in the page of cup stage, okay? So your love has been limited, okay? And your love for the spirit has been limited, okay? So three of swords is a third party situation. And right next to the Three of Swords, we have the devil. <clears throat> You're currently acting in devil status when it comes to love because you are putting your uh, golden beauty or there's a, another female that's, that's involved. And you you have a third party situation going on. Not only at that, you've had, you've been having you you your intent is to stay in this energy, okay? Not only that, the spirit is no longer going to offer you assistance because you are currently in devil status, okay? And uh, a three of swords again stands for um, stormy emotions, okay? And you're acting in devil status, all right? So. Um, with that being said, the, 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 the devil is deceitful, okay? And that's leaving you to feel helpless, all right? You're harming spirits. Not only are you harming spirits, innocent spirits, the, the Lord is saying, you're causing major change, major transformation, um, that is which no longer useful in our lives or the lives of the spirit, okay? So you are no longer being uh, utilized by the spirit, okay? Because you keep causing this, these, these uh, deceitful actions and where it's, where it's involving, uh, you know, more than one woman, all right? And a lot of that is due to the MK Ultra that you've had, you have experienced, which um, you're not aware of. I will tell you that I have watched you. On your page I think some of the your actions are what's called blasphemous according to the spirit okay 
that is leaving you at an uh, ace of pinnacle status which involves a two of swords okay so ace of pinnacles uh, means that you know um, you've had a new beginning um, a new beginning in prosperity however there is a dual list dual duality or dualistic nature that's involved that's involving swords okay and uh, the two of swords is a stalemate okay you're fighting you're constantly fighting with someone all right that's the two of swords and that's causing your ace of pinnacles and your prosperity and your beginning uh, your new beginning to success to be what's called limited according to the spirit okay and three of cups stands for celebrity and the next card up is the three of pinnacles the three of pinnacles stands for achievement um like you may have gotten like a new car, a new home, or something along those lines, okay? Now, you're celebrating the, these achievements, but you're doing it in a devil mode, okay? And the spirit is no longer proud of you or no longer happy for the things that you're doing, all right? The spirit wants you to know that because of what the spirit has offered, that, that the spirit has allowed you to become a celebrity and has allowed you to make these achievements, okay? And once you've got gotten to these achievements, you ended up going into what's called an ace of wands status, okay? So, again, an ace of wands means that you've, you, you have used your magic to start like a new business, a new job, or have a new kid or something along those lines but now your ten of cups uh situation ten of, ten of cups stands for uh ultimate love happiness your your ultimate love and happiness is in reverse because you, you, you're utilizing your magic uh very incorrectly according to the spirit all right and <clears throat> the next cards up is magician and the hierophant okay Okay, so again, here's your, your magic that's being used, and a uh, hierophant is, is a wise person, okay? And again, the magic that's been placed on you, okay? It's been some form of spiritual magic placed on you that's causing uh, your will of fortune to have dark space or have illusion, which has caused you to be what's called... Uh, delusional okay so the dark magic the mk ultra all of that you know involving uh you have taken a celebrity you know status or a celebrity type of of a persona is what they're saying and you that's turned dark on you okay and now you're delusional behind that okay and not only that your will of fortune is currently having darkness placed over it all right sir so uh the spirit is saying no change no change back to the person that you once were because the reason why you can't really see who you once were is because they totally erased that from your memory okay i do recall seeing a video where um you were being interviewed by a uh, a woman named Tasha K and I believe you young Pharaoh you said that aliens abduct abducted you okay now for the people who don't believe that and the people who don't they think aliens are these outer space type things no a lot of these aliens are the ones who are placing this moon magic over your will of fortune okay all right so you need to be aware of that, young Pharaoh, that you're currently being being magic, delusional, and it's causing you to have illusion. Okay? And that was done by being MK Ultra. Alright. So and a lot of this involves a Queen of Cups, which is a Queen of Cups is a is a, a beautiful woman that is she's a conservative uh, empathic woman, um, a woman that 
was your wish fulfillment and this person was your lover okay now that person that was your lover you wanted to know whether or not this person was your soulmate or where that person was your twin flame but there's been magic put over that okay and the magic that has put on over over that situation here we go again with another two of swords okay it says wage waged war okay it says wage war i'm supposed to have more than you okay so you wanted to make sure you wage the war over this person because you wanted to have more than them and this card says are you my twin flame or my soulmate okay and you can see this is over the third party situation so you're caught up on whether a person is your twin flame your soulmate but well, however it go you have a, another what's called two of swords and then you have a two of swords right here so you're constantly fighting all right <clears throat> so that's because you wage a war has the spiritual war has been waged over you because of how you're handling what's called your celebrity status okay so these two cards are two of swords for the celebrity so you're you're having a two of swords issue left and left and right all right all righty so the next card that we have up uh, uh which is which was in the pile over here in that deck is a three of wands okay which is more magic it says the initial goals of the magic has been successful okay so you're actually having dark magic that you're placing over uh, what the spirit is saying these young ladies and what you're telling what you aren't saying is we are just seeing each other with no strings attached okay that is your persona or your attitude that's what you want you want to just deal with people with no real strings attached okay now with that you're you're having a message that's coming from Archangel Michael he said hey it's Archangel Michael okay you gotta love yourself first before you will ever be able to love anyone else all right so with that being said um, what you aren't aware of is that you feel like and this card says we are a couple no matter what you feel like you're a couple with this uh, with one of the young ladies no matter what okay and that's probably because you guys share a child or a former family together is what the spirit is saying all right and the two of cups stands for commitment it stands for or and or an engagement okay so you either was going to get married to somebody but however it go there is darkness it says i attach to your energy you attach to this person's energy all right and you feel like no matter what y'all still a couple regardless of the arguing the fussing and the fighting but with that being said you're currently what's in what's in called in what's called a king of sword status it says you ain't going nowhere so wherever this person goes you're going to follow that person but what you're going to bring to that person that you have broken up with um and had a loss of a relationship what you're going to bring to that person is a dis is disappointment okay so and you're doing that militantly all right or you're doing what's called um policing that person okay and that means you're you know watching her following her trying to clean this person up no matter where this person goes however you're doing it with a cold-blooded sense and state of mind all right and the next card up is a eight of cups okay so you abandon this person okay you abandon that person's heart and you're also abandoning yourself this card says i want to just uh, I, I just want my own man, not somebody else's. So this person, <clears throat> this card stands for the person that you're actually causing the, that you broke up with. She wants her own man, okay, and not not somebody else's. So that person wanted to, wants to, wanted to be with you. And the reason why I say want it, and that person still wouldn't mind being with just you, 
but once again you're you waged war okay so that person wanted to be with you they no longer want to want to be with you and that's the reason why you are having finances and because of the finance issues you're actually out here gambling okay you're not only playing poker but you're playing all kinds of other games is what the spirit is saying all right so i won't um I'm going to go ahead and end the message right there because the spirit says you got a lot of work to do. You got to stop playing those games. And because you're doing all of that, you're acting in delusion because you have been what's called MK Ultra. They are, they have turned you away from the black woman. All right. You no longer feel like the black woman is God. And that is what's called blasphemous to the spirit because the spirit is the one who allows you to be in that. They said that masculine energy. And everything and a lot of uh, a lot of what's going on has everything to do with the way you look okay so hierophant here again you're not acting wisely all right now you got the hierophant here once and you have the hierophant here twice but this wise, per wise person has turned into a dark magician all right Young Pharaoh is what the spirit is saying. You are currently re referencing young Pharaoh and your, which is of course uh, you, you're re referencing yourself in a third party, uh, as you know, in third person rather, okay? And five of rods, and along with the five of rods, you have a page of rods, okay? The reason why you're referencing yourself in third person is because you no longer know who you are, all right? And you were once a lovable rogue, okay, which is what a, uh, which is what the spirit is calling you. However, I'm sorry, this is a nine of rods right here and a five of rods, okay? The nine of rods saying, you know, go ahead and persevere, but... That's going to be done with conflict, squabbling, and arguing, which is what they, the five of rods is, which is also a five of wands. It says, um, five of wands, competition can be fun when you challenge yourself. It can be less fun when you engage in action that brings you to conflict, into conflict with your coworkers, friends, and family. So you're currently having issues with your coworkers, friends, and family, or people that you have hired underneath you. It says your secret weapon is that you can remove yourself from the from conflict by simply choosing to do something else. All right. And the nine of rods stands for persevering um, and something about being challenged is upside down. I guess that's not something that you want to be. It says a minor setback may impede an ongoing project. Okay. And it says, if you proceed carefully, it can be successful. It says, you need to tap into your own inner strength. Bring up that uh, last reserve of power to muscle through. It's time for the final push. Fight to finish. Don't give up. So you need to fight against this negative energy that's been placed upon you. How you do that is by looking within, going back into, you know, to the person that you once were, appreciating what the Lord, the gift that the Lord has actually offered you. And I do believe that your 33rd vertebrae has been tampered with, okay? And you need somebody to listen to that and you need somebody to help you out of that situation, all right? You will not be able to do it by yourself, okay, sir? So I just wanted to offer you that information and then the next card that i have up all of this is causing a 10 of raw situation which is causing you to be weary okay it's causing you to be burdened and if you don't act um they said righteously or consciously this will lead to overall regret okay young pharaoh again you know uh you are m underneath what's called mk ultra sir and the spirit is asking you and offering you an opportunity to change, to actually, you know, find success again by being aware and being conscious of your actions and looking inside. Okay, guys, Empress Rocky here, a message to young Pharaoh from the spirit. Thank you for listening, you guys. I want to send you uh, love and light, peace and prosperity. Okay, guys, God bless you. Peace and Askanish.